From VOA Learning English, this is the Agriculture Report. As the world population grows, there is a need for more food, including seafood. The World Bank predicts that by 2030, 70 percent of the demand for fish will come from Asian countries. The World Resources Institute recently studied world fish production. The group says fish production needs to more than double by the middle of the century to meet increased demand. It says the world's oceans, lakes, and rivers are fished to their limit. And it says more fish must be produced in aquaculture projects or fish farms. Imperial Catfish is a fish farm in Imperial, California. Craig Elliott is part owner. He says the catfish farm is probably the largest west of the Mississippi River. Mr. Elliott says his business ships thousands of kilograms of fish every week to Asian markets. Mike Vellings owns Aquaspark, a company that invests money in aquaculture businesses. He says it is a young industry but is growing at about 9% a year. Mr. Vellings says China produces more fish on farms than any other country. He says the U.S. represents only 1% of the industry. Craig Elliott says it is not easy to run a profitable aquaculture business. He says it takes years to make money because the fish have to grow. There are also environmental concerns. Nathan Weaver is an environmental activist. He says uneaten fish meal and waste products from farmed fish can be harmful to other creatures. But the World Resources Institute says government policies, technology, and private efforts have led to improvements in fish farms. For VOA Learning English, I'm Alex Villarreal.